In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The title for this afternoon's homily comes from an awesome praise and worship song, Sing a Little Louder, also known as Raise and Alleluia. I love the Word of God. It is an entry point to our Lord's heart. As St. Paul says in our first reading, I commend you to God and to that gracious word of his that can build you up and give you the inheritance among all who are consecrated. God's word has the power to build you up and transform every molecule of your being so that you share fully in the inheritance that Jesus has won for you on the cross. In today's gospel, Jesus wants to equip you with a spirit of unity and a spirit of joy. Jesus desires us to be one as he and the Father and the Holy Spirit are one. Jesus shares with us his intimate prayer to our Father. Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me so that they may be one, just as we are one. When you and I receive the word of Jesus, it has the power to grant you a full share of the joy that resides in the heart of your Savior. I speak this in the world, says our Lord, so that they may share my joy completely. Jesus, thank you so much for desiring unity in your family here in Plymouth. Jesus, thank you so much for being so willing to allow us to share completely in your joy. Holy Spirit, we open our hearts and we beg you and we give you permission, please move. Holy Spirit, please move in our hearts. Holy Spirit, please move and please remove. Holy Spirit, please remove any bitterness from our hearts. Holy Spirit, please speak a word over my heart right now. Holy Spirit, I so desire to hear a word from my Father. The transformation that Jesus will bring about in our hearts and lives will never end. As long as we have breath in our lungs and our hearts are beating, Jesus and his grace and his love desire to move in our lives to transform us. And this transformation will come with great difficulty and many setbacks. It will not be easy but it is so worth it. On the one hand, Jesus tells us in the gospel, there is the voice of your father. But on the other hand, there is the voice of the evil one Jesus speaks of in today's gospel. To conclude, in the middle, between these two voices, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in the middle, what will be louder? The voice of the world that hates you because you have received and believed in God's word? Jesus says, I gave them your word and the world hated them because they do not belong to the world. Or will the voice of your brothers and sisters in Christ who proclaim the good news of Jesus over your lives, will that voice be louder? Those who strive to love you as the Father as the Son and as the Holy Spirit loves you, will that voice be louder? The voice of brothers and sisters in Christ who don't judge or condemn, but do call you to more, they call you to repent. God's flock here in Plymouth, I need you to sing a little louder. I need you to make your voice heard. Proclaim the good news of Jesus over the lives of your family, your coworkers, relatives, neighbors, and friends. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.